Hey guys, so I recently checked out Victor and Valentino. It's one of Cartoon Network's two shorts that have come out within the past month. Uh, we've seen just these about 10 minute long shorts. Uh, this is this one, I, I wanted to do, bo do both, and I wanted to first talk about this one because I think that if Cartoon Network was to have made an actual series out of either or, this will be the one that feels more in the line of a Cartoon Network series, as um, the other one looks more like something that could work much more better, much better and expand uh, on many more things on Adult Swim. But this one, uh, I really enjoy. Uh, I think that it's very cool that we're going back to this sort of uh, Spanish style, um, and it's very well done. We haven't seen this actually since El Tigre, which is weird. I'm surprised that we have we don't have a series that's used this uh, in a way uh, and gone into this culture in a way that um, we're just finally getting back to. But you know, we follow these two kids, Victor and Valentino, which is obviously the title's name, the name of the title and the name of the two boys, and they run this taco shop, or they're being told to run, run this taco shop, uh, and he and um, they get dragged into the underworld. And this is where we see some of the cool animation style that they use. It looks a lot like Steve Universe. Um, we get to see some really cool Day of the Dead sort of styling, and I like the way that it's set up. Um, I really do. The my my. Uh, I've told my friend about this, um, but I am finding it very difficult to get excited about these shorts um, because. At this point in time, it's only becoming to, it's only seeming to become more and more likely that these shorts are going to stay shorts and not become a series. Um, we saw last year Back and Backspace and 12 Forever, uh, and those two were brilliant, and they haven't done anything with those two at all. Um, I was incredibly disappointed that nothing has happened with the prior shorts from last year, and for these two to come out, I, I'm excited and that's cool but I can't I can't be hyped actually and, and it just kind of drops my level of potential for any of these any of the new pilots because every single time we see a pilot we don't know if it's gonna actually premiere as a sh series or not and you know this is the whole thing where uh, I'll put out a, uh, I'll put out a new I'll put out a video next week talking about Cartoon Network uh, the state of Cartoon Network, and I'll put out a video talking about Nickelodeon as well. Cartoon Network is in a place now where their biggest series are ending. They need an anchor, and Steven Universe is going to be the anchor for now. After Steven Universe, they're going to have to rely on these shows that aren't as popular right now, and they need Cartoon Network needs to start reinvigorating and getting exciting series more in, well, like more and more exciting series. Ben 10's coming up. And I, I'm really disappointed that none of the series have been greenlit at all. None of them. And that disappoints me. That's why I can't get excited, actually. I, I've said excitement, but I can't get excited about any of these things. I, I love them, and they're cool. Um, I, both, both of the shorts that came out this year are awesome, and both of the shorts that came out last year are brilliant. But I cannot... It, it sucks, really, that Cartoon Network continues to do this. And uh, maybe we'll get to the point where... By 2018, maybe they'll say, oh, one of these series has become something. But, you know, I really thought there was potential. I was waiting for Back to Back Space. Uh, I thought there was really good potential with 12 Forever. I thought 12 Forever could really be a good, a great series. Um, and there was, there's been nothing on that as e either. Uh, so when it comes to Victor and Valentino, and when it comes to the other series, I can't recall the name, I'm stuck. I can't find interest in it. I mean, I do find interest in it, but I can't find excitement in it because I find that I'd like to see more of these series. I'd like to see more. And from everything we've seen, from every single short, there's no reason not to have gone with any of the shorts because every single one of them has gotten likes, has gotten huge fanfare, million, about a million views each from almost all, from almost all of them. But... None of them has, have been greenlit. That's my problem. That's my one issue. And uh, I just don't understand why they haven't been greenlit. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, Cartoon Network needs new series. They need something that's exciting. Uh, and I think that this would be the perfect time to say and greenlight something. Not only to just pull up some more shorts. Because to be honest, I would have taken maybe a 12 Forever uh, confirmation or a back-to-back -back space confirmation that something was going to be airing instead of, an, instead of a new lineup of shorts that we don't know about. Remember, Liquid Plaza Turbo still is in this sort of uh, 
weird space where we are st still it hasn't gotten anywhere. So, you know, I'll talk more about this in the video next week, guys. Um, but, you know, um, my general reaction, I, I don't know how to be excited for this, really. I, I want to be, but it's difficult because Cartoon Network is proving to me that there's nothing that's going to happen to these series. And I really want something to happen with these series because I think Nickelodeon could easily do something with, with any of these series. I think that D Disney XD could do anything with these series. Uh, and Cartoon Network just sitting on them is embarrassing. Really, it is. Especially in the period that they're in right now. So, guys, what do you think of this? Am I wrong here? I need to know. Comment, all that stuff. Thanks. Uh, stay tuned for more, guys. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>